welcome to pavitra laptop care hi guys so today's topic is very very important topic that is the reset signals in a io reset signals reset in an io example e n e 9012 this is embedded controller ec okay any idea how many reset signals are there in io so many people knows this uh, the main reset signal is rsm rst right so in io everyone will check rsm rst is available or not then only motherboard will switch it on turn on hmm? see other than this rsm rst what are the important signals actually in io this particular io rsm rst is not there instead of that the different name will be there first you need to understand what is io and what are the reset signals in the io then only you can easily identify the reset signals see for example i have taken 9012 okay e n e it's a manufacturer brand is e n e and this is ec 9012 reset hmm? the pin number 12 okay pin number 37 and pin number 2 these three pins having rst hash signals see hash is machine should hash what is the hash meaning if voltage is there if it is a high then it will be disable mode okay in case if it is a low enable mode understood my point the reset reset always it should be in disable mode but in some cases we need it enable okay you are really wondering right why we need it as a enable state it's very important who are uh, in this field from long it's uh, older days those people knows why this particular rst should be in enable mode in which signal it should be in enable mode i will explain you that one also see the pin number 12 usually this is pci rst hash what is that pci pci is connected with lpc bus here the pci components voltages will be there no components what are those pci what we are uh, connecting in pci signals hmm? the hard disk ssd dvd these all are nv uh, nvme these all are connected with pci right this reset signal pci reset signal this is one of the important pci reset signal what it does before giving the supply to pci components first it will reset it will check what are the buffers will be there it will reset and it will clear it to identify those particular components now you got my point right once it resets and it will be disable mode it means first it will be high and after that sorry first it will be low and then it will be high okay first it will be low in the sense it will be active and then it will be passive means it will be disable next signal one by one once again i'll tell you the number one is pci rst hash if high what it does if high hash if high means it will be in disable 
if low it will be enable it resets the pci components second one the pin number is 12 second one pin number 37 the most important signal ecrst got my point ecrst this one you have heard right see this one ecrst what it is it's a very very important signal hmm this only i'm telling if uh, anybody doing service anybody are there in this field from long time from uh, past uh, what is that in 2000 2005 and all those people knows this signal is very well because the example this one is programmer what it is rt 809f okay why i am showing this there is a reason behind this see ecrst is a important signal what it is this one is the input for hardware trap pins hardware trap pin these are special pins special programming pins okay uh, usually the pin number 39 40 41 and 42 will be the programming pins this is called hardware trap pins these all are is uh, required high this signal is required externally this particular signal goes to this particular areas see the pin number 42 i am coming to the point pin number 42 enable or disable using this your motherboard will be in on position or off position see if this particular pin is low means it's enable low in the sense zero right so if it is a low it will be in program mode if it is a high it's a normal mode right see i'll come to the point it's a program in this particular rt809 before uh, uh, the io programming uh, equipments before we were using this programmer only okay before io programmer we were using this program to program the ENE nine zero one two in that time, two thousand ten or fifteen, I forget the years. So, but previous days we were using this programmer to do the program. In this, especially, it should be enable mode. Enable mode. If it is enable mode, then only we can do the program. Otherwise, we can't. It won't detect at all. Okay, that's why it's very very important. Hmm? E C R S T. It's very very important signal. Okay, P C I R S T over E C R S T over. Hmm? It's a very simple but complicated one. Now the final one, third one. It's a very very important one. K B C reset. means k b r s t see here it's very tough k b r s t you know why here it will be and gate okay it will work as a and gate k b r s t for this two input should be pakka one is internal it's internally one power on power on reset on option is there that should be high then externally ecrst ecrst also should be high then only this kbrst will generate see one second i'll tell you it's very important it's an and gate that two input 
should be high then only we can get the kb rst otherwise your motherboard will be in dead condition only okay in e and e uh, kb9012 these three signals should be high okay in one cases it will be low and again it should be in high position hmm? the ec rst power on reset it's internal reset actually it's not externally it is it is internal reset it should be i then only kb rst will come and uh, we need to focus on pci rst and ec rst these three are very very important please note down uh, dsler for what reason i clearly explained you uh, knowledge should be have then only you can easily solve the issues so please guys again and again in every videos i am telling you should gain the knowledge regarding any cheez simply uh, don't do maki ka maki and all so one person will do and same thing you are going to do those things don't do if you are doing one thing you have you should have at least 10% or 5% knowledge regarding the service that is my intention the same thing i am going to tell our plc students that's must okay hard work is must knowledge is must hmm? that's it guys thank you thank you very much